Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In this episode, we're going to be making our way into this door and seeing what's truly special about it. Uh, oh. Whoa! Hey, look! There's the cornerstone of light! What's going on? Everything's black and white. Deja vu? Really? Have you been here before? Hey, you! See any bad guys around here? Why I ought to... Nah, I don't have time to waste on punks like you, so I guess I'll go easy on ya. Well, there's our villain. And we've truly made our way back to the past here. The audio is even kind of, you know, low quality at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and equip experience boost, which I think I might have grinded off camera. It's been a couple of days since I did the last episode, and I pretty much immediately after the last episode was preparing for the next episode. So I don't exactly remember what I did back then. But anyway, there are a couple of treasure chests here in the main area that we need to get. I just have one word of warning, or it's probably more than one word. But this episode is going to be full of voice cutscenes and text dialogue cutscenes. But I think that the subject matter, as far as being back in like the 1920s or whatever, is kind of enough to make up for the fact that we're going to be spending most of this episode either fighting a boss, listening to a cutscene, or reading some dialogue. But here in the pier, there are a couple of treasure chests that we need to get, along with an edge piece, which is kind of funny because edge pieces are part of like pretty much every puzzle. But there's a puzzle specifically called an edge puzzle in this game, if you know what I'm trying to say. But here the reaction command says we need to punish Pete. What's with you, squirts? You got some kind of bone to pick with me? More than one. Dems fighting words. Huh? Not so fast. Wah! What's that for? There's this weird thing in this game where it seems like Sora, Donald, and Goofy cannot tell that past Pete is not future Pete. I don't know what's going on with that, but luckily, past Pete is easy to beat up because he's not really a villain in this game. But we're going to see what he has to say about that beating. What you folks beef with me anyway? Who? Who are you? You new around here? Cut the act. Whoa! <laughs> you know, something doesn't seem quite right here. Are you sure you're Pete? Well, of course I'm Pete. I'm the captain of the steamboat, so stop bothering me, see? So hit the road. I gotta go find the little runt what stole my boat. Of course, maybe we made a mistake. I'm starting to think the same thing. He hasn't even called any heartless. Sorry we attacked you like that, Captain Pete. Oh yeah? Well, if you're really sorry, then go find my steamboat. Yes, sir. Oh, my hickin' back! I thought for sure Pete was the bad guy. Ah, uh, that would be too easy. Come on, fellas, let's try to find that steamboat. I guess we did say we would. Hey, we've got a door to find. Oh yeah. I don't see any doors. Huh, what's this? Ah, 
I can't see a thing. Cornerstone of Light. What's going on? Everything's black and white. Ow, what is problem? Ow, ow, ow. Deja vu? Really? Have you been here before? What was that? My heart was going out, and us coming in. What does it mean? Let's get rid of those heartless. Uh, then what'll we do? We'll worry about that later. So we've got ourselves four doors here in Cornerstone Hill that we need to take care of before we move on, so I'm going to go ahead and go in what I consider to be the hardest one first. Fire! Gee, he seems kind of different somehow. Come on, we've got to help him. scene of the fire we've got a couple of shadows to take care of first but the shadows are really not what i'm worried about as soon as we take care of the first wave here actually it's already spawned we're gonna get a hot rod but i'm gonna go ahead and turn into apparently anti-form which if you've never heard of anti-form basically every time you turn into a form your chances of turning into anti-form go up anti-form is absolutely ripping these heartless apart which is really good because these hot rods which these car enemies are really hard to me because they have this thing where they go into like a guard mode and you can't hit them forever but it looks like anti-form is absolutely shredding them apart and i cannot believe how easy that was considering how hard it usually is well that takes care of that hey You absolute idiot. You've managed to fail at everything. And what's more, you foolishly thought you could take my place while I was away. Well, as of now, you're finished. Mark my words, there'll be no place for you when our time comes. Useless imbecile. But, but, but I... Uh... What? Uh, somebody sure was angry. I don't understand. Let's just try to clear out the Heartless first. This place is okay, but we've got three more spots to check. And that we do, so I'm going to go ahead and go in what I consider to be the second hardest one. Basically, I'm going to go in them from hardest to easiest. What are they building? Ah. Look out! Thanks, your majesty. Let's get those heartless!
Now here we have another new Heartless, which I believe are actually called Hammer Frames. I always get them mixed up with the Iron Hammer, which is another Heartless that looks almost exactly the same. But they're not that hard if you can get them up in the air, which is good considering what's going to happen in just a second. And I have no idea what 21371 is. I guess that's the good old 21371 error in the translation. But anyway, once we get everything up in the air, sometimes the scaffolding will start bouncing up and down. And if that happens, you can do a reaction command called Air Slash, which is pretty powerful and it usually kills everything in one hit. And if not one hit, it pretty much weakens everybody down. But as long as you dodge all these shock waves on the ground, you're probably going to be okay. But here we've pretty much taken care of all the problems at the construction site. How do you like that? Hey, look! Oh, for crying out loud, she didn't have to go and say that. Okay, I might have messed up every now and then, but I'm a lot more things than useless. Why, when I was starting out? Oh, I missed those good old days. What I would give to go back in time. What I would give. <laughs> I think that's my... A door? It looks familiar. Yup, it's the door Merlin magicked up. So it should come straight here, right? Uh, sure, I think. Let's check it out. We're gonna check it out, but first we've got some more doors to check. We're gonna go ahead and go in this one, which is actually fairly easy. The town shrunk. Or do you think maybe we got bigger? Hey, look at the toy cannons. What's he saying? Hey, they're heartless. Now the reason I consider this one to be easier than the, for instance, the construction site or the scene of the fire is because the airplanes, I actually don't remember what the airplane heartless are called, I just always called them airplane heartless, I don't know. But anyway, if it gets really hairy, you can go into the middle of the map where that little clock tower or the cannon or whatever it is is, and you can do a reaction command called Stop Bomb, I believe, which is good because it pretty much prevents every enemy from even moving, much less attacking you. The only hard part of this fight I don't know if I've ever gotten killed by the airplane heartless or the biplanes, I guess is what they're really called, but the hammer frames are probably the hardest part of this fight because they blend in with the scenery on the ground, and if you get hit by a hammer frame twice, at my level anyway, on critical, you're probably gonna die, but we're gonna go ahead and use Stomp Bomb here. Another good use of Stomp Bomb is to highlight where the enemies are because they have those smoke clouds that go up around them. Man. That was weird. Look, Sora, over there! Fascinating. This appears to be a portal to the past. Yeah, it was the strangest thing. Stop gawking, and start thinking of a way we can use it to our advantage. Gay? Now, perhaps I could give you one more chance to redeem yourself. Oh, thank you, thank you. You can count on me. So what do I do? Patience, my dear. What have we here? Well, if it isn't the cornerstone of life. 
Hmm. Now we can take the castle from those fools, but we'll have to proceed with the utmost of care. Maleficent! She must have known all along. Well, let's see. If that door's connected to the past... No, 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 it comes here. Huh? Well, then that means we're in the past. Wow. If we're in the past, we can change the future. Well, hold on, fellas. Remember what Merlin said? He's got faith in us. And we have to resist temptation no matter what. I was only joking. You want to change the future anyway. So, what are we going to do? Doors? Bad guys? Gosh, my brain hurts. Well, we know we're on the right track. And we only have one more door left to go. Luckily, I accidentally went in the wrong door there. The one on the far right is the only one we have left. Luckily, it's very easy, and apparently I'm stuck in the cycle of the game putting me. Like, where the camera angle makes me go back in the same door a million times, but finally I've made my way into the right door. Come on, he needs our help. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the only Heartless that will spawn in this scenario are the Rapid Thrusters, as you can see. And if you remember from the Land of Dragons, they were a fairly pushover-like Heartless. They are probably not going to be that big of a deal to defeat. And the Furniture Meter, by the way, doesn't really matter. And as you can see, the Heartless didn't really matter either. Oh. <sighs> huh? Listen well. On the other side of this portal, they're about to begin construction on that wretched castle. But until then, their treasured cornerstone of light lies unguarded, with all of its power still contained. The cornerstone of light? Yes. That cursed sphere is the very thing that prevents us from entering the castle. Oh. You know what must be done? Uh... Go then. Time to prove your worth. And don't dare to fail me again! Don't fail her again. Let's see... That's it! I just gotta smash that cornerstone to smithereens! <laughs> uh, but first, I gotta go get my old boat back. It was Pete after all. Wow, he tricked us. Still, something doesn't seem right. Hmm. The Pete we met here had kind of an attitude, but he didn't seem like a bad guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> now that castle's as good as ours! That's the pew we know. Wow, wow, wow! Oh no! The cornerstone's gone! Wow, crap, Mom! They're gonna fill the castle with darkness! We gotta hurry! <sighs> hey, hold it right there! No way, small fry! I finally found a pipsqueak what stole my ski boat! Why, I'm the you! Right, me! No, no, it wasn't me! I'm just somebody who looks like me! Oh, which is it? Now, here we get the Window of Time map, and as you can see, Sora and Co. are still having a big problem telling the difference between past and future Pete. But luckily, we're going to be able to make that difference, or make that distinction, coming up. Wait! Shut up! 
Your future's on the line, Pally. So back off and give me the boat. That dragon's turn. After him. You bugs could follow me if you wanted to. Later, losers. I'll show you. Now, I don't really know why, but this is actually one of my favorite fights in the game, and it seems like I say that every time there's a new boss fight, but it's kind of unique, because you gotta throw all this trash or whatever it is back at Pete, and as you can see, He's gonna, you know, his boat anyway, is going to go all the way back to the beginning of the river here. And what we have to do is latch onto that hook and now we can attack the whatever cage that the cornerstone of light is being held in. And speaking of holding on, if you hit the hold on reaction command, you can stay on the hook and continue to attack. But if you fall off, you've got to go through the whole trash thing again. So it's better, as far as time goes anyway, to just hold on to the thing instead of trying to get, you know, an extra attack in or whatever. But we're going to be able to take him out probably in one more combo here. And yes, you do have to finish it off with a combo. It's unlike, or it's not any different, I should say, than any boss. But we get Dodge Slash. Hopefully I'll remember to equip that coming up after this cutscene. Yes! You'll pay for this! Donald, we'll come back for it later. Pete's heading for the doorway. I can tell future Pete is probably pretty peeved at us right now, but before we go confront him, there are a couple of treasure chests and heart pieces. I don't know why I say heart pieces every time there's a puzzle piece. I know that one was a heart piece, but every time there's any sort of puzzle piece, I call it a heart piece. Now, I guess Zelda has rubbed off on me too much, but there are some treasure chests and puzzle pieces for us to get here in the wharf area. I actually don't remember what this area is called, but as soon as we go over here, we're going to be able to confront Pete. Actually, apparently we weren't in the wharf because this area is actually the wharf, but it looks like there's a confrontation going on over here, so let's see if we can break that up maybe. <laughs> You're still wet behind the ears. Then try us. Now, as far as unique fights go, it's kind of unique because there are a lot of different facets to this fight. But we're still fighting the same old Pete, and he has a lot of the same moves that we've seen him use before. Unfortunately, I'm low on health, but luckily I've been able to heal myself. That's not going to be a problem, I don't think, for this fight. Usually this fight's pretty easy, but when you take enough of his health away, the scenario in which we're fighting him changes, and if he ever jumps up in the air like that, by the way, make sure you take your opportuni opportunity, I should say, to attack. And I'm going to go ahead and turn into Valor form here. Luckily, I didn't turn into Anti form even though I probably would have done a lot of damage. Back in the day, I thought Antiform was a, a punishment almost, but now that I've used him in that scene of the fire, you know, as I'm older, he does a lot more damage than I gave him credit for back in the day. But also, past Pete is running around, I guess he can't handle the situation that's going on here. He has a reaction command you can use called About Face. I don't think it's really worth wasting time to try and set that up, because every time I try to go for that, or every time I tried to go for that back in the day, Pete would just throw a bomb at me, and sometimes Pete has, like, these little tiny bombs to throw on the ground like so. I Actually, it didn't look like he threw them out there, but I thought he did. Those little bombs he throws out on the ground, sometimes they're hard to see because this fight is in black and white, and those, if they blow up on you, they're probably going to kill you, but luckily we have the air slash ability. I don't want to take Pete out with an air slash, so I'm going to let him come back down here, and hopefully we'll be able to take him out with, like, one more combo. I think this fight was supposed to be hard with all the different, you know, aspects of the fight going through all the different door scenarios, sort of, that we did previous in the episode. But overall, it's pretty easy, and we're going to be getting more cutscenes here. What else is new? It serves you right! Ow, 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 ow. Hmm. Yeah! And stay 
way out! Yeah, I know. Somebody tell me what's been going on here? Who was that creep anyways? Hello? That creep was you from the future. Sora, that's a secret. Secret? What kind of secret? Oh, never mind. Sorry I put you guys through all that trouble. <laughs> and to show you my appreciation, I'll let you pilot my steamboat. Best little craft on the river. My deckhand Mickey's late anyways. To the castle safe mail. Guess we should head back. Don't as long as we're here. Don't. Hold. Huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's the good down here? Let me George, the lads have accomplished their mission. Hooray! Let's have an acorn feast to celebrate! <laughs> Welcome back. Because of your bravery, the castle is safe and protected again. Thank you so much for all you've done. Good, Good work, you guys! Now, boys, I, I hope you didn't do anything reckless while you were there. Daisy! <laughs> 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 back! Who? Daisy is Donald's very special sweetheart. Really? <laughs> Donald, you forgot about our date again. You'd better have a good excuse this time. Well, Daisy, um... I know it's an important mission, but you could at least check in every once in a while. Sure. <laughs> Donald? Just a minute. Going somewhere? I trust that. <laughs> oh, look! Daisy, we need Donald for just a little longer. How much longer? Um, well... I'll be back soon, Daisy. Don't you worry, Queen Minnie. We'll return. 
please tell the king that we're still looking for him. I will. See you soon! Think wisely. And here we get Wisdom Form, which is another form that we can use in addition to Valor Form, but Wisdom Form takes away Donald, like Valor Form takes away Goofy, so that might lead you to believe that Wisdom Form is a magic-based form, and that would be a correct assumption. In the next episode, we're going to be able to, first of all, I'm probably going to go back and do that new cup there in the Olympus Coliseum, but I've been sorely lacking in things like armor and accessories, so I'm probably going to do some synthesizing and stuff, and we might even go up there to Atlantica. But I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, and I hope to see you guys back for the next episode.